Hello! The objective of this video is to show you how to integrate the CRC FM RDS Android library into your application. To do so, we'll do an application, a new Android application from the beginning, in which we'll integrate our library and we'll make a, in this application we'll be able to receive RDS and to display it. So this is the application we'll try to do. And in red, this is the RDS that has been received and how it works it's very simple the user enter a frequency and then press start and during five seconds the application will receive the RDS and at the end it will display it. and during these five seconds also we should be hearing the radio so let's do it let's start first step will be to uh, start Eclipse and meanwhile I start the download here of the, our library then I can go into my download folder and extract. Uh, I go back into my download folder and I'll extract this folder. So here it is. I'll leave it here for now. So now we open Eclipse. In Eclipse, we can open a new, start a new Android project that we can call it Demo App. And there's going to be one, one activity in the whole project, and I'm going to call it main. And uh, I'm going to choose Android 2.1. This is what's on my my phone now. So that's very good. So this is our new Android project. We need to integrate to add into it uh, our the library that we just downloaded uh, here from our website. So if I go back in my download folder, I'll just copy what we downloaded then I can go into the projects folder which is in my workspace which is here this folder is the same than this one so here I can paste the library if I go back here and press F5 to refresh the project we see it appears here with all the content that's necessary there's two main components we have to add in the project the jar file and the dynamic library let's start with the jar file we go into project properties and here we can add jar from this place once we added the jar we can add the java doc also by going just here i'll go back into the workspace into the project folder and click on the doc folder and okay next we have to store the dynamic library at a proper place so I'll go into the projects folder in uh, my file hierarchy. So in the projects folder, I create a new folder called libs. In in this folder, I create another one called arm eabi. And I'll take dynamic library and copy it. And I want to paste it into the new folder I just made. So if I go back in the project, F5 to refresh, I see here that the library is here. So this is the good place to store the dynamic library so it gets into the final package that will be deployed on the phone. Um, just before doing the, the coding, uh, let's, let's do the, um, the interface and then we'll do the code that goes behind it. So let's, let's program the interface here. So you can see it's uh, eight text fields and a text box and a button. Uh, so the the center face is actually this file, the main that XML file, the layout file. So there is only one text element that we can see here in the layout view. Uh, what I'll do is add seven more and then a text field and a button. So let's let's go. So there's one, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the text box. This is the button and a linear layout so that the button will appear beside the text box. Kay. So let's name the button.
let's put a random frequency in that box for now here I can write uh, this is a K and I'll put it in blue um, the blue in HTML is zero zero six six A. Oh, oops! Just change the keyboard. All right. So now it's uh, blue, like this. Um, then here. So here is, uh, let's say, enter frequency and press start. Okay, and uh, oops, these text views, we want them to appear in red, and we want nothing in them when we have no RDS. So the default text is nothing, and we want to display it in red. Red is this. So this is the interface. This will look looks like just like this one. Um, so let's go now into uh, our main uh, activity. Uh, in order to use uh, all the functionality that's in the jar file that we added to the project, you see this is a jar file, and this is the FM interface class that contains all the radio functionality that you want to add into your project. So this is the class we want to import into our activity here. So, so let's do it. Import ca.gc.crc.libfmrds.fm interface. And um, in in our class here, we will instantiate one object of this class and let's call it CRC FM RDS uh, library very good we also need uh, an audio manager object so let's let's declare it here in the create function that will be created at the beginning of the program we will define that fun that object but just first I'll import the audio manager from the Android SDK. So this will equal okay, I'll call now the function that will be called when the button is pressed. I won't get too much in detail into the Android things because uh, so this video won't take forever. But uh you'll see how I do it. So what I did here is just like when the button will be clicked, we'll see well, when something is clicked on the view, this switch structure will enable us to see what has been clicked. If the button has been clicked, then the code will go into this area. Yeah. So this is where we will uh, receive, decode, and uh, GRDS, and then update the GUI. So we'll do that in a few moments. Now I'll just, uh, in order to make the button clicking working, I need to implement here the on-click listener and I need to set the unclick listener here okay I just need to import a few more Android classes like the button widget so this is very good so here from there we can go on back onto the MMB tools website on the library web page and you see here's the this is the video you clicked on and this is a code snippet that you will add into the, the project so I'll just paste it. So this code, what it does, it just uses the object we created here, which is the library. It verifies if your phone is supported by the, the FMRGS Android library. If it is, then we'll open the, the radio receiver, set the band, set the spacing, um, 
you know, I put here 100 kilohertz spacing. You know, in, in Canada it's 200, so I can I can see here this is 200 kilohertz. Uh, you notice that um, you have the Java doc for every function that you that you have here, so it's uh, wonderful. And in this loop, we will receive and decode RDS. This is what is being done in the process RDS function. This function synchronizes the Android volume that is adjustable by the user with the volume on the chip. And this loop is going to run 20 times uh, every time it's 250 milliseconds. So this, this whole thing is about 5 seconds. And then we'll be able to get the PI, the program service, and the radio text. And here we'll update the QI. Um, the user interface. L How do we update the GUI? We have here in our layout, we know the text view here, here, and here that needs to be filled are number 2, number 4, and number 6. And uh, just to save time, uh, I already wrote this here, so I just copy paste it quickly uh, here. So what I do here, I just find this text view into the, the layout, and then I set the 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 PI the PS uh, every all the radio uh, all the RDS inside them, and uh, all I need is to import the text view widget. Also, one last thing we must do in order to hear the audio is to add a permission into the Android manifest. So that is what I'll do. The Android manifest is in every Android application. Here it is. So I'll open it, and while it opens, I go here on our website, and this is permission that you can copy paste into the Android manifest file. This is it. There's many ways to view it. If I go under this view, I just paste. So this is done. I go back here. There seems to be an error. Ah yes. We have to link this text box to the start button. Um so we need to get the text to transform it into a, an integer to store it in this variable and then it should work. And I store the result in a temporary string. So let's uh, just import the edit text object from the Android SDK and here current frequency that will be set into the FM receiver on your phone will be equal to the integer value of this string. Okay, so very well. Let's try it. Okay. So this will load the program onto the Android my Android phone and um, I'll just launch this tool here which will uh, show you what I see on my phone. So we'll be able to test this together. Okay, so this is what I see on my phone. So if I press start, it should start receiving RGS now for five seconds and then it should display it in red. So here it is. So it works. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, super tutorial. Just um, if you want to uh, have a look on the code and try it to compile it uh, yourself, uh, you you can uh, actually you have all this application into the the folder you downloaded. Uh, remember here on the website in the download, the download uh, gives you um, this folder, and this is the demo app here that we just did. So thanks for listening and have a good day.